automatic collet that you saw that catches the post in the welding machine. It opens and closes automatically to catch the post, which is shot down to the center with the uh, escapement and pops out the bottom and is caught by the catch plate right at the right height. You saw that in the welding machine. It's very important to understand when you remove this collet for maintenance, which is probably once or twice a day, it being a welding machine, that's what it is, it's important that you replace the collet, push the feed tube down into the collet, then put the collet up into the machine. Very, very important. I think I will go back and show that in the machine afterwards. So, maintenance and replacement on these collets. You have the collet body, collet shank, collet arm, collet hinge, collet spring, and collet shoes. These shoes are what require most of the maintenance. I'm now going to dismantle this collet so you can see how it works. I'm going to take the collet arm off. left hand again. I'm going to take the collet arm off and uh, show you how that works. This is uh, once a day or so that you will have this maintenance to, to perform. These electrodes in welding machines are a problem. Let's go back there. There's the rear collet shoe and the uh, socket cap screw that holds it in place. There's the collet hinge and the collet arm itself. And there is the collet spring. That is the rear collet shoe. It's adjustable up and down. All of that adjustment happens automatically as the collet shoe wears. It flops up against the post automatically finding its uh, its own level. Then I removed the front collet shoe. Front, front collet shoe, two screws, and the front shoe comes out. These two collet shoes, electrodes, if you will, require maintenance, especially on this front surface right here. I will show you how that's done. In order to perform the maintenance on these collet shoes, the first thing you do is this front shoe, which is the stationary shoe, has a V-groove in it. And it gets worn out from the constant firing of the post. These generally are replaced as a collet, set of collet shoes are generally, generally replaced Every 200 to 300,000 wells, they become worn to a point where they're, not, uh, they're no good. But to perform the little bit of maintenance that requires them to stay centered and in shape, I'm using a 90 degree edge of a file. I'm going into the groove, I'm not flat, and I'm not up on the other wall. I'm just going to wipe this through, and it renew renews the groove in the shoe. Many times I use a stone, a sharpening stone, to surface it, resurface the shoe. That generally takes care of the maintenance of the collar shoe once or twice a day. Now I'm going to reassemble the collar and show you that generally this can be done faster without having to assemble or disassemble the entire collar. One screw, two screws. Tighten that in. Now, the rear collar shoe generally is flat filed on this surface here. This is the contact point right there. And it requires cleaning. I replace the collet spring 
and I replace the collar arm in its seat with this collar shoe. You can see I'm flexing this back and forth to find the right level to get this screw to go home. This pivoting screw will periodically have to be replaced because it's being worn severely as the hinge pivot and you'll have to replace this screw throwing away the old one. Now that collet is back assembled. I drop a post through to make sure that it's going to be centered all right and it's fine. You can see here that its adjustment is constant hour after hour so it becomes collet hinge point becomes worn and the rear collet shoe is continually adjusting itself up against the front surface of the of the stationary front shoe that is the automatic collet when you re pull your maintenance you've done your maintenance on your collet before you can go back and replace the collet in the machine You've got to pull the feed tube down so you can see it sticking out. You gr firmly grasp the feed tube and you push the feed tube into the top of the collet firmly so that there's one even flow of air with the post so that there's no restrictions. Then you replace the collet back into the machine. Removing the collet from the machine for maintenance. You use an Allen wrench on this side and you will notice that this is just finger tight. We do not want to crush the collet. I remove the collet. I take the collet out off of the end of the feed tube. I then go to do my maintenance, cleaning the collet shoes, etc. Going back into the machine before I, before I, going, going back into the machine Installing, reinstalling the collet, I push this collet feed tube down inside the collet very firmly and then I put it back into the machine all the way up and it will self-center itself because it has a flat spot. I just barely tighten it, nothing firm, just a little bit. If you over tighten this collet, you will crush the collet shank, so you just want to just let it rest against that flat spot, which is fully sufficient. It stays in place. Do not over tighten. That is that. <laughs>